Grandfather, it's me. Oh, Ellie, do come in. It's good to see you again, Mr. Speaker. But are you sure it's alright for you to be sitting up? I do still feel some lingering pain, but they told me just this much would be alright. I owe the Goddess my deepest thanks. It brings me joy to see you are all doing well. Particularly you, Ellie. You're looking much brighter than you were before. Well, I... It's true. I do feel much better now. Bleeding. Theodor, wait! It's good to see you again, Ellie. You're looking well. Why? Why are you doing this? What possessed you to play a part in such foolishness? Did you not learn anything from your short lived presidency? Oh, <laughs> I learned much, I assure you. That is why I am here today. Back then, my daughter played me like a fiddle. But this time, I am following my own convictions, and that is what led me to join the new unified government. You hopeless fool. Uncle Theodore, how can you truly believe that this is the right path? Surely you can see... Looking at you and your friends now, you don't stand a chance against the Supreme Leader. I'd advise you take the time to reevaluate what justice means to you. You and your compatriots both.
I know Lloyd and his friends can take care of themselves, but please, keep lighting their way, Guy.
We're finally here. Damn, is it ten already? Sure is. Heimdall's pretty far from Ymir. Our next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. The Vermilion City Sea mentioned can only be Heimdall. But the capital is gigantic. We're going to need some way to narrow our search radius. <laughs> you ask me, the race course in the Garnier district seems suspicious. Do they now? I know, I know. I'll save having fun till our work's done. I'd be happy to take you anywhere you like once we've ensured Prince Oliver is safe. As long as it's not the kind of shady businesses I know you want to go to. I gotcha. Can't very well go to him in uniform. That's not the problem here, Ash. We can go for dessert though, right? Of course. <laughs> It'll be on me even. Just focus on the investigation first. Let's start with Lady Arie since she's agreed to speak with us. To the training hall in the Leica district we go then. That is basically our situation as it stands. His Excellency also asked us to tell you that he hopes you'll be able to look after the Hall in his extended absence. Thank you for updating me on everything going on. It's the least we could do. Your husband did a lot for us. More like put us through the goddamn ringer. All while shrugging off our attacks like we were nothing more than a bunch of buzzing mosquitoes. He sent Kurt flying off a cliff, too. I found him quite terrifying. I do hope he didn't leave you with any lasting trauma. Still, his is a measured hand. If he came at you that fiercely, he trusted you could handle it. I hope you can understand that he only did what he did because he saw potential in all of you.
May I come in? Hmm? I think I know who that is. I suspected as much. By all means. Elise. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all again. The same to you. <laughs> so she's our little helper, huh? Indeed. Sister Doreen, friend to Princess Alfin, and head of St. Astraya's Student Council. The noble Elise Schwarzer herself. The Princess and Muse have already apprised me of the situation. So I spoke with Lady Aurie and volunteered to aid you upon your arrival. I apologize if my behavior strikes you as meddlesome. But I am certain that I will be able to aid you in your investigation. You do know more about the capital than any of us. <sighs> You're not coming, and that's final. But... <laughs> Out comes the big brother. There's still far too much we don't know about the situation here. Given that our enemies pilfered the name of the Imperial Liberation Front, we could very well be dealing with terrorists. Involving a civilian in this would be downright irresponsible. So I'm just a civilian, am I? Just a no-good student without a mode of power to her name? That's not what I'm trying to... Oh, I think it is. But even leaving that aside, your blunt dismissal misses an important point. And what point is that? That the situation at hand doesn't relate to me. When I am Princess Alfin's dearest friend. But that is that, and this is... This... As we speak, she is racked with worry over her brother's well-being. Yet, as the matter is confidential, she has to feign a smile and act as though everything is normal. She cannot cast her responsibilities aside and aid in the search herself, either. And because she cannot, I will do so in her place. If I just sit by idly while she suffers in silence and do nothing to alleviate her burden, I won't be fit to call myself her friend ever again. Elise. <laughs> Looks like you lose this one, Schwarzer. You realize both of them are Schwarzer in this context. If I may, I think you would do well to put your trust in her here. Her skill with a rapier is formidable. <sighs> that may be so, but... I have toiled long and hard to master the art of fencing passed down through our family. Of late, I have even grown under Lady Aurier's tutelage. And far from letting my pen rest while my sword hand improves, I have overcome many a challenge as student council president. I am no longer a cowering child in need of your protection, dear brother. <sighs> All right. Ash called this one right. You win. Then... We'll be glad to have your assistance. But if things get dangerous, I want you to do as I say. Deal? Deal! I wish you all well in your investigation. Please, do be careful. Should I catch wind of anything new here, I'll let you know immediately. Thank you. We appreciate it. Then let us set off. I will do my best not to overextend myself and leave you all to carry the burden. But please, if you are truly in need, I hope you won't hesitate to tell me. For even I possess a strength that you can lean on. Thanks. It's good to know you've got my back. And the feeling is mutual. 